In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually import the grades into D2L. So here's what we need to do. First, we go to grades. Now, if I already have the grade item created, which I'm going to be doing in exam 5, then I'm ready to go. If I don't, then I need to go to manage grades first, and then I'm going to have to create the item that I'm trying to put in. But I'm going for exam 5 right here. The key to importing grades into D2L is you first have to export the grade item. So what I'm going to choose is export both of these key fields, the last name and the first name. And what I'm going to export is just exam 5 right here. You can do multiple things at a time. Sometimes that helps. If you export to Excel, you'll be able to play around with this data, but you won't be able to import it back in. So that's not going to help us for our purposes. We want export to CSV. The CSV file is what D2L will then read back in. So we're going to open this up. This is now a temporary file in Internet Explorer. And be, or Firefox, and now I have this open. D2L is going to sort this by the org ID, not by the first name or the last name, and that's the way our grades are going to come in. So we're going to need to sort this first. So my data does have a header, and I'm going to sort it first by last name, and then by first name, and now everybody's good. So now what I want to do is take the text file that I had from before, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to sort these guys the same way. I need to sort them first by the last name, which was column A, and then by the first name, which was column B, because there were no headers here. And I'm going to take all this information, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste it right in here. Now, if everybody who's in class is on D2L, and everybody who's in class on D2L took the exam, everything's going to line up perfectly. But if I scroll down, I'm going to see it doesn't line up purpose, per perfectly. I've got a couple people who are helping out in class. I have a couple people who never dropped the class. So I'm going to have issues with that. One way you can do this is to go equals this equals that. So D12 will check to make sure these two cells contain the same information. And if they do, it will say true. Now I know I'm good. And then what I want to do is copy this formula all the way down. So what I'll do is go on my cell, go to the bottom right. When this turns into the little black plus, I double click. And it copies that formula all the way down. And I see my first problem. I have a student here, Jesse Bjork. The next one over here is Bo Blake, or Blake Bo. Blake Bo is down here. What happened was Jesse Bjork apparently didn't take the exam for some reason. So I need to get rid of him. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to insert text and shift everything down. I don't want to necessarily, or I could do the opposite and delete everything up here and shift everything up. It's just that everything has to line up. And so then I redo it and I see I have another one. So I'm going to go through and correct all of these. I'm going to pause this, correct all of these, and then tell you when everything lines up. I'll come back in. Okay, I've gone through and I've placed everything in, but you need to be careful because occasionally you'll get a false when it's really the same person. All right, Patty Johnson accidentally put a Q instead of an O here, but that's clearly the same person. And I had another one down here with uh, Andrea Northey, who ran out of space with Northey and put an asterisk there. So, But that's the same person. And that's the key, is that once every single person is aligned and all of these are true, that should be, right? the only falses are when there's a space because that person didn't show up. Now I go in, I go from the very top, I highlight all of my grades, I copy it, Control-C, Go back up to the top, go over here, Control-V, paste it all in, and I am good to go. Delete any information after the end of line indicator. I don't need it anymore. I've got all the grades in where I need them, and now we're going to import. So we have to save this. This is just a temporary file. So what I do is I save it onto my desktop as an item called test. And every time I'm importing, I call it test, and every time it asks me, this already exists, do you want to replace it? Absolutely. I want to replace it. I now have a new thing first warning you get is this is a CSV file. Are you sure you want it in this format? Yes, you do. You do not want to convert this to anything other than CSV because that's what D2L is going to read. So keep it in that format. Now it's saved. Now when you close this, which you need to do because you can't import the open file, it's going to ask you again, do you want to save it? If you click save, you go right back through that whole process where it wants to change it into Excel file. At this point, you don't need to save it. It's already there. This is my grades 1 text file, which I don't even need anymore. So I don't even need to save that. And that's the grades 2. Now I'm ready to import into D2L. So here's what I do. I go back to grades. And I go to import. 
and it's going to ask me for the file. That's why we had to save it in a place you can easily find it with a simple name that you can easily find. So I have it on my desktop as test. And I'm going to go ahead and try to import this file. If you've done everything correct, you'll get no errors or warnings and everything is good. And now it's going to briefly tell you what happened. I have Aaron Hutchins is going from 0 to 1. And I'm immediately seeing a problem because I realize now that the question, this hypothetical grade question that I came with was out of 10 points, but my grade item is actually out of 20. And that's a problem, because I'd, otherwise everyone's scores are going to be half as much as they should be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to go back into Excel and I'm going to open my test file as a CSV. And because I've had this as a CSV file and it's been easy to do, I can just go equals two times whatever number was there. And again, I can drag this all the way down. This formula goes all the way down. And everywhere along the way, it's just going to double it. And so then I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to paste special. I'm going to paste the value. Because if I paste this, it's going to paste a formula looking for something that's twice what's over here, and that's not going to work. So I paste this as the value. And notice all my values over here doubled when I did that. So now I've got it the right way. If I hadn't done this as values, then when I deleted this, everything would have gone haywire. So now I have everything corrected because it's out of 20 points, and that's the way I want it. And again, I'm going to keep it as a CSV file. And I've already saved it once, so I don't need to save it again. So now I go back here. I go to import it again. I find my test file. I go to continue. No errors or warnings. And now I see everything's out of 20. That's the way it's supposed to be. If I hadn't used the import feature and just typed everything in by hand and then realized that I had screwed up and it was everything was supposed to be twice as much, I'd have to change everything by hand again. And that would be way too much work. But this way I go ahead, I import it. Everything should be good. And now I see in exam 5, all my scores are there and everything works. Again, these are all fake scores. These aren't the real scores for these real students. I just had to change things around. So hopefully you can use this import-export feature, quickly export a blank grade, put data in from whether it's the testing center or whether you have a stack of paper exams that are sorted alphabetically, you can flip through. It's a lot easier to just type them into Excel than try to type them by hand into D2L where you keep having to use the mouse or hit the tab button six different times just to get to the next row.